So today I've been given a farm and we're going to use it to make lots of money. First, we need to set down some potato plots like so. We only have room for three of them, but then once the potatoes grow up, we can harvest them. We level up our farming skill, but we can also sell our potatoes for a little bit of money. It's not very much though. So maybe we'll just go to the fishing area and then cook up the potatoes to make some baked potatoes. We just have to be careful not to let them burn. But now the baked potatoes sell for twice as much. So now we have 12 monies. Ooh, and there's some birds here that give us extra monies. 44 gold each, wow. So we already have 100 monies, which is also enough to give us some more land if we level up our farming a little bit more. So we'll just sit here and collect some more potatoes. Give the little kitty sleeping in the barn a pet. That's cute. Bird is telling me what to do, but I already know what to do. And that's grow lots of potatoes. Samwise Gamgee is going to be very happy. Our farming level is now three. We can also buy a chicken. Not sure where the chicken is. Oh, there it is. You got a little chicken. The next one costs 500 already. My goodness. But look, you lay an egg. I guess she laid an egg. I mean, oh, I didn't realize I had uh, stuff cooking over here. Oh dear, that's not good. Had it burning already. But now our cooking level is up to three. Goes to show you should not leave the stove on or the grill, I suppose. But now our husbandry skill is level two. Such a weird name for farming animals. But we can see the eggs sell for two apiece and the raw eggs sell for one. Takes a little bit of work to make lots of money. Something else that we can do is fish. So we're getting some things like trout and there isn't even a recipe for cooking the trout. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell the fish for one coin a piece. Farming skill is now level four. We're almost there. I also love the way this little mushroom just waddles around. Not sure how a mushroom ended up in charge of a farm, but he's doing his best. Oh look, more birds with money. Just catch him and sell him. That definitely works. And it's not morally questionable at all. And just a few more potatoes. And our farm is level five. So not only can we expand the farm, if we just catch a few more birds and probably sell some more things, like a whole lot of baked potatoes. I'm not sure how many potatoes we have to be baked, but it's gonna give us a lot of money for it. And our cooking level is going up incredibly fast as well. So it's already up to level five. That was way faster than the farming skill. So now that all the potatoes are cooked, we'll go ahead and fry the eggs as well. Baked potatoes give us 120 monies. That's really good. We also have burnt food that we can't sell for anything. Ooh, three birds worth a lot of money. We have 582 monies already. The birds are very helpful for that. And speaking of help, we can hire a farming worker to automate the process for us. Very good. It's, huh? a, it's rusty. <laughs> I'm not even sure what kind of creature you are. It's like a capybara on two feet. But he should be able to walk right up to the potatoes and harvest them. Excellent. It's a bit slow, but at least it's automated. We can also get some carrot farms in here. Those should be worth quite a bit more than the potatoes. I hope anyway. Let's just go ahead and collect these. So, ooh, a single carrot is already worth two coins. That's very good because the carrots are also something that we can cook. And these carrots look pretty interesting. It's like a network signal. Cooking these carrots in 5G. So now the roasted carrots can sell for three times as much. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to need some help managing all this cooking because there's a lot of things going through here. So Otis will help us with that. We'll set two of the cookers for carrots and then two for the baked potatoes. And it looks like Otis is preoccupied with just one cooker. So let's turn the rest of them off and have everything just go through Otis here. Ooh, and the farming level went up on his own. I didn't even have to do anything. Excellent, I love this. I feel like we're gonna need another farm hand here pretty soon. We have a lot more land than the workers can manage, but that takes level 10. Although since the carrots give us way more than the potatoes, Let's just sell up potato farms. Well, probably harvesting the potatoes that are already there. And then we just plant in a few more carrots that we have money for. Ooh, thank you birds for more money. It seems like they're giving us more money as we go. But now we have an entire carrot farm. So there's another area over here with the forest area where we can chop down some trees. And then once the trees give us the oak logs, we can come over to these tables here and make some planks. Thankfully, you can't burn the planks, so they just do their thing until it's done. And we could sell those oak planks for a decent amount of money. But also in the barn house here, we can make some furniture to make this place look kind of lived in. And now we have a stool that we can't even sit on. Oh, well, at least we have it. How's our chef Otis doing? Ooh, 27 roasted carrots. Amazing. It's a good thing it looks like they don't need to eat at all. I'm not sure I could afford that. I think maybe I'll help out Otis on the cooking for a bit so we can get the skill level up faster and then hire someone else. I also didn't realize how many potatoes I had left over. But now all the potatoes are cooked. 
So let's fry up all the eggs because I do have quite a few of those. And now we'll roast up the carrots. So now our cooking skill is level eight and it's taking so much XP to level up again. But that's why we have four of these grills going. We also have plenty of carrots too. So we're not gonna run out of these. I'm not even sure how much XP I'm getting for each of these cooking things, but we're getting close to the next level. So we need 51 XP, collect this carrot and it's 42. That's like what, nine XP? And now it's level nine. All right, we're gonna let Otis finish the rest of these. Did he just collect burnt food? Are you letting food burn? notice you better not you have one job and my job is to collect birds so now once i sell 123 roasted carrots that's a nice amount of money it's enough to buy another chicken Ooh, balloons wow oh wow oh wow there's a lot of good things here what happened here huh Six trout in that balloon? Who's putting fish in a balloon? That was crazy. I want it again. Something else that I want now that our husbandry level is five is a worker because the less I have to do, the better. Go get him, Lucy. Sadly though, we can't get a new animal until level seven. What would a bunny even give us? A foot? I'll just chop down some trees because these logs getting turned into planks is good money. The trees also grow back really fast as well. I love it. I do kind of wonder if, oh, the birch trees need level seven. So then there's pines over here that need 20 and level 36. My goodness. Our construction level is also going up very fast from this, which I'm not sure if I need someone making the planks for me because I don't really use them for anything other than like cosmetic things. But maybe if I did that, I'd get a lot more money to sell from this. 86 money's from that and there's even more birds they're given 170 for each of them i am liking this and i also like selling all these roasted carrots and lots of baked potatoes and fried eggs oh we got another balloon party happening in the fishing area gotta get all these before they fly away that give me way more fish in like two seconds than I was getting just by standing here. Sadly, it doesn't give me levels though, but I won't say no to 40 coins from the fish. But now our fishing is level five, so I can just hire someone to stand here for a pointless amount of hours. I'm sure Faye will have a great time and hopefully catch something more than just trout because there's all these other fish that I haven't even seen. I guess because they need level seven. Yay. But hey, our husbandry is level seven, so we can get a bunny. Look at the little guy. What are you gonna do? Eat my carrots? You look like you ate a bunch of carrots. You're orange. What do these even do? Oh, wait. Wool? How do we get wool from a bunny? You know what? Maybe it's better to not ask questions. Oh, wow. And now it's raining. Just what I needed. Does the rain do anything? Does it make the crops grow faster? It looks like it does. Or maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it does. That's too bad. Oh, I didn't even realize I could put plants in here. We got a potato plant and a mushroom plant, which is kind of an existential thing if you think about it. So I just won't think about it. I'm also just severely confused as to why bunnies are dropping wool. Is it even worth much? Eggs are one apiece, so the wool is, oh, two apiece. Sure. Oh, but now our cooking skill is level 10. Otis can finally get a friend. Sophie, we'll have you cook up the fried eggs because we're getting a lot of eggs. 133 to be exact. You're gonna be here a while. Have fun. Poor Rusty here is still working on those carrots. But at least the carrots are giving us five XP for each one of them. Wow, no wonder that's taking forever to level up. I can't even expand the farm until level 15. Goodness gracious. Maybe I'll just go back to chopping trees because at least over here, our construction skill is going up pretty quickly. We're high enough level for a worker, but they take a thousand? Why? I'm gonna need way more birds for that. Or just, you know, a whole bunch of carrots of the roasted variety. Oh good, our guy's finally catching salmon. So we'll hopefully get a lot more of those in the trout here, even though we have 115 that can instantly be turned into money. I just wish I could cook the trout. Sounds delicious. Yay. And the little decorations in the barn don't even give like passive bonuses or anything. But you know, a little window never hurt anybody. Or a chair and table set that what? I still can't what? sit in. Do I even own this farm or am I just working on it for somebody else? What sort of scheme is this? Oh, well, at least our farming level is now 10. So, ooh, another balloon party. Yes, give me lots of good things before they all fly away. So we have 27 wool now. That's a good amount of money there. Hopefully selling everything will get me above a thousand. If only a little birdie would swoop in and bless me with riches. You know, I might as well see if I can get one of every piece of furniture in here and the plants would look a lot better on a shelf. But if I remove them, then ooh. I get some money out of it. Wow. Why didn't I do this sooner? Who needs a window? Oh, that just gave planks. But at least it gives us most of our things back so the plants can properly go on the shelves with not too much lost. So we have some shelves, our chair and table, a nice little window, starting to look good. Now, if only I had a thousand monies. Thankfully, selling all the cooked things gets us there. So Rusty will get a bit of help around the farm in the form of Bailey. Now we're collecting carrots twice as fast, which is good because I feel like Otis and Sophie were running out of things 
things to do. But then again, Sophie's just cooking the fried eggs, which is honestly not the big money maker. So maybe you should just continue roasting carrots. And Faye over here is going nonstop at the fishing. So there is another fishing pier over here, but that takes level 15. And there's also a boat that I can't reach. Oh yes, and now it's a balloon party in the wood cutting area. And there's some gold in these balloons as well. No, 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 stop chopping the tree. Need to get them before they fly away. So we got a little bit of money out of that, but mostly just a lot of salmon that we can sell for good monies, which is enough to hire a construction worker. What is your name? Oh. We don't talk about Bruno. Ooh, now the husbandry is level 10. Does that mean we could get another worker? We could if we weren't broke. So I think I'm just going to chop down this last tree, get our wood cutting up to level five, and there we can hire a worker here. And they're just helping me cut down the tree. Oh, that's amazing. So now we have workers doing every single task, which means that we can constantly collect all the good things like salmon that sell for quite a bit. And then the oak planks that I collected can go right in here for, ooh, some wide windows and a couple tall ones a pristine table to go over here sure and we can get a painting of a pig even though there aren't pigs in the game how do i know what those look like oh maybe there are pigs in the game but they're the most expensive thing my goodness all right we have a lot of cares to go through and these guys do not work fast enough so we'll just help them out on that although before that we have a thousand monies once again so we could get another chicken but i think we need another worker to collect the materials before they fade away and roxy's here to help us with that and i am witnessing sophie let a carrot burn oh kind of close there sophie more salmon for me means more money for me also trout is cool i guess and look at all these oak logs that we have wow i already forgot the name but they're really putting in the work there's also another cooking pot over here which i don't fully get unless that one's supposed to be just for me once these are full of workers but that's gonna take quite a bit so i'll just have two cooking pots all to myself and we've barely made a dent in the carrot count but now we have fishing level 10 so we could get another fishing worker let's just sell the carrots that we do have for 579 for less than 200 of those do i really want another fishing worker though the fish aren't doing the most right now let's hold on to our money for a little bit and help nala chop these trees because she's just a few trees away from getting the wood chopping up to level seven now she can chop down the birch trees which hopefully sell for more than the oak ones and sure enough five birch logs are worth 10 although it looks like they take longer to chop down let's start making some birch planks hopefully those are worth three times as much and sure enough they are so you can keep making the oak planks and i'll make some birch ones so now we can sell 52 birch planks for 156 monies and the birds are still giving us way more money than we ever make Ooh, we have 2,000 monies now exactly that does give us another bunny but oh i didn't realize we had onion farms unlocked well, time to shift our operations here. We'll plant three of them for now because it doesn't look like cooked onions are an option. I just want to see what these are worth. And raw onions are worth three times as much. Neat. We'll keep some of those and we'll keep some of the carrots as well because the carrots being cooked also sell for that much. Unless we don't have to worry about the cooking at all. I haven't decided yet. So after letting this run for an hour, we have 533 onions. That's a lot of good money there. And a thousand roasted carrots. Oh, beautiful. And a whole lot of birch planks too. That lets us have 8,000 monies. And our skill levels have gone kind of places. Our cooking skill is level 15. So we could get another cook if we had 10,000 monies. Although our farming skill is very close to getting to level 15 as well. Just need to harvest a few more carrots. And probably some onions too. I have no idea how much XP these give. Ooh, but the birds are here. So they are going to help out a lot with 400 gold a piece and now the farming skill is level 15 so we painfully spend 5,000 gold but we have more land available to us so let's go ahead and fill this with some more onions because they make me get money faster and our wood cutting skill is level 10 so we could hire someone to help Nala or you know maybe it's time we got a fisher to help with Faye over here oh and there's balloons to kind of celebrate them it's <laughs> that is not a name I was expecting it's alive it's alive and kind of stuck on the other side of the pond Oh well, they'll be fine. This is also a lot of wool that we have here. Let's go ahead and sell that. And we're not really making oak furniture anymore, so we can go ahead and sell all these logs. That's an easy thousand. Ooh, this is a lot of salmon as well. That's another thousand. And now that we've sat here long enough, we're level 15 in our fishing and level 15 in the husbandry. Plus, we've been selling enough things we can afford a goat. Look at this, we have a goat. It's almost as tall as I am. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What does the goat even give us? It is milk. Ooh, two milk at that. Wow. I can make soap with this. Oh, one of these sells for three monies. That's really good. Probably sell all these eggs as well because I'm not cooking them. And now we have enough money for a third 
cook to help us. And this one's lucky. Go ahead and fry up them carrots. And because our fishing level is 15, we unlocked this pier to fish from. Unless we go out to the boat. It doesn't look like we do, but a crab is happy to see us. This snap snip. Oh, we got anchovies. Wow. How much do the anchovies sell for? Three gold a piece. Excellent. I wish I could assign one of the workers over here, but I think I'll stick around here and catch up a bunch of these things and call it good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Idle Fields. What a cute little game. If there's other games like this you want to see, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Lucas S, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drew Belong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, The Garrity, and Sans.